Dave, this is so cool to be at Howard Terminal. I know not a lot of people have seen this and that's what we're here to kind of showcase the experience today. In terms of design of the ballpark, the first thing we should get to is the fact that it is a waterfront park. Absolutely. But it actually faces that way away from the water and that's by design for a couple different reasons. Yeah, two or three key reasons. One, obviously with the sun setting in the west, you can't have a westerly orientation of the ballpark. So it has to either be northeast, right. east or southeast. And so we designed the ballpark to make sure that it accommodates the sun, but also that it accommodates the wind, which the prevailing winds come from the Golden Gate. So those are the two kind of key reasons. So many other new ballparks have the old ballpark theme, right? It all started with Camden Yards, yep. a lot of brick, a lot of 1940s feel to it. But in terms of the renderings here, they all look very modern. I'm wondering why you guys would divert away from the, the popularity that is the throwback ballpark. I think we wanted kind of a new era and kind of to establish our own trend here in Oakland. Oakland's always been on the vanguard of new ideas and new approaches to things. So we thought that, you know, BRK Ingalls Group with this incredible world-class designer coming up with a more modern design, which is kind of in his palette, was something that would make sense. And that's what we decided to go with. All right, so as for this site, a lot going on here, including the cranes behind us. Yeah. Now there's four of them, as we've seen in the renderings, two of them will kind of stay put maybe, or even They're come, gonna come, come down, this kind way? Of, kind of right where we, where are, we right are right now. now? Like, this will actually be the spot okay. of the cranes once once we build. Yes. So they move, obviously. They do, they're right on now. rails. You can kind of see it here, yes. But a lot can be done with these cranes, it seems. And I'm going crazy here with zip lines yeah. and bungee jumping and, and just the way you can light it though. But incorporating these and keeping these in the design of the ballpark, it seems obvious, but why did you guys choose to keep them? Well, I think they're so iconic and especially on the waterfront, um, they evoke Oakland. You know immediately when you're looking at a game with these cranes, you know, in the outfield that you're at the Oakland ballpark. Yeah. And so from our perspective, it was an important way to have an homage to the history of Oakland's, you know, maritime and a bright future of that area of, of the city to have that incorporated into the design. We've seen about two different rounds so far of renderings. Mm -hmm. By the way, any word on when some new batch of images will come out? They're coming out all, all the right. time. You're gonna all see right. some more, right. yes, before you know it. You might get a sneak peek. As yeah, of what yeah, we've seen yeah. so far, mm -hmm. what's the favorite look to you? The one that you like to go back and, and take I more love time that with. approach shot, like on Water Street, where you see the rooftop park, okay. and then you see into the diamond, the retractable batter's eye. I think that's a really powerful view. It's the processional of coming to the ballpark. So I think that's my favorite. And then as part of that entrance, right, the center field area seems like more of the entrance to this ballpark mm -hmm. than home plate, first base, or the third base side. But from right there, you're able to access the living roof. You and you're also on street level, it sounds to me like it's all gonna be kind of one connected concourse. Athletics way, we call it. There yes. you go. So it's not only a concourse on game days, but it's really a public street, kind of a cafe type street with bars and restaurants around it on non-game days. So it really doubles in two ways. And it's a great way to connect the development and the district to the ballpark itself. All right, Dave, appreciate this. I know we have lots more to discuss. We'll do that in a different segment, but this is Howard Terminal, home of the A's in 20... 23. 23.